Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper here with Loot Masters, and I got a quick tip for you on how to extend the life of your sample packs. I've got a song starter here from Single Maker's OVO Hip Hop Pack. It sounds really good out of the box, but obviously we want to make it a little bit our own thing, right? And a quick way to do that is using a plugin called Serato Sample. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the video description. But essentially what it does is it chops up samples for you and then if you drop in a MIDI clip, it will play them back in sort of random and varying ways. I've got this loop right here that's already pretty interesting. So what I'm going to do is drop Serato sample on a track, and I can just drag and drop that sample into Serato sample. Drag and drop it, and then I'm just going to hit find samples. It's going to find some interesting cue points for me, and then all I need to do is drop a MIDI clip in there and let it play, and we'll hear what it sounds like. So there's a couple of ways that I suggest you try this out. So any MIDI is going to work because it's already in the key of the track, right? It's a song starter and all the tracks are in the key of E. So just dropping it in there, you don't really need to worry about the actual MIDI notes. You just need to worry about the pattern and how long each cue point is played for. Okay. So what I've done here is actually taken one of the MIDI clips from this pack, the OVO Hip Hop. There is MIDI files right here, music, and I just dragged it on here. And you'll notice that it's actually pretty quick. And if I play it right now, nothing's gonna happen because the key range is actually around C1. So if I select all, hit shift, down arrow inside Ableton Live, that's actually too low. You see that we already got a new pattern going and obviously we can start to move them around if we wanna try out a different sound. Something like that's pretty dope. Let's listen to it in the context of the track. So it's pretty cool. Another thing that's really useful too, I found, is if you extend these to be a little bit longer. So inside of Ableton Live, we just gotta hit the times two right here on the MIDI clip. So that way the cue points are actually played a little bit longer. But I'm gonna show you how sweet this is. I can just really take any MIDI clip, drop it in here, make sure we're in that C1 range. Like that's super dope. And it's because the sample pack already had that loop right there. And just using this Serato sample makes it sound really dope, really easy. So obviously I'm just dragging and dropping right now. I'm not really doing anything in terms of customization, but you can get in and make it a lot better. I'm just talking about generating ideas quickly and easily with the sample packs you already have if you get Serato Sample. So anyway, that's just a quick tip on extending the life of your sample packs. I'm Joshua Casper here for Loopmasters. We'll see you in the next video.